9 Plus. Uh, if you're familiar with our Series 9 from last year, uh, it was a standout piece from Samsung in terms of what you got, which was design and performance. So very similar to last year's Series 9, but the Book 9 Plus, a couple changes that we have. We still have the aluminum chassis, but we do have a touch panel. So that's, that's new for this So one. that's new. And the other new thing is the screen resolution. The so same. we have the same screen resolution as the Book Q, which is 3200 by 1800. So if you're looking for something with a lot of, uh, you know, 275 pixels per inch, mm -hmm. sharpness, detail, uh, this is certainly the device for you. 128 gigabytes of solid state drive, uh, Intel chip, uh, i5. And I'm going to show you a feature that uh, is unique to all of our T family. Okay. And it's a software called SideSync. So SideSync is great because for a lot of Samsung users who have uh, our Samsung Galaxy device is the ability to have access to your phone without actually physically picking up the unit. So for this demonstration I am going to use a USB cord. Now we will have a Wi-Fi version as well so you don't have to use a USB but the benefits of USB is you can charge your phone at the same time. Also transferring between documents, uh, we have the software where you can set it up to sync all your new data. So if you've taken new photos on here, all that new information will be backed up on your computer. So by launching SideSync, it'll take me to my uh, traditional desktop view. And in a moment, what you're going to see is an exact replica of what's on my phone on my computer screen. So I can, whatever I see here is what I see on my computer screen. If uh, I wanted to, let's say, go into a gallery mode, everything shows up. So the question would be who would want something like this or what, what would be the practical use of it? Well, certainly from someone like me who uh, works in an office and I'm on con calls and uh, I'm working on documents. The great thing about this is I can have it set up. I could be on a webinar. Mm -hmm. I need to log in or call in as well. I can call in and I can just type it in. So even though I see you see all the numbers on there, I hit the call button. I can even, if I want to, even, not, even though I'm not touching the phone, I can go into all my contacts. I can select it, hit the talk button, and then I can hit the speakerphone yeah. talking. Now, as I'm talking onto the phone, you know, using the con call, I'm using, uh, using my screen, maybe working on a Word document, and a text comes in. So even during that conversation, if a text message comes in, I can utilize my keyboard and say, Hey, how are you? And I can send a text message directly from my computer screen without ever having to pick up the phone. Okay. Yeah. Now we also have the ability with SideSync that maybe you need the real estate on your screen. Mm -hmm. We can also set up an option of using the phone as an extended desktop. So I can drag my mouse from the screen, off the screen, and onto my mobile device. So you'll actually see a mouse, mouse. pointer okay. on your phone. If I wanted to drag and drop documents, pictures, photos, I can just select it and drop it right into the phone. It's copied it. It'll go into my downloads folder. From there, I can access any of the content. Same thing if I wanted to, let's say, work on a document on my phone and I want to transfer it to my computer. I can go into the folder view and I can select the document, drag and drop it onto my desktop. I can even take screenshots. If there was something that I wanted to share and send it off in an email, mm -hmm. I can have a picture of my a screenshot That's of my phone yeah. and then email that out. Um, so anything that is a TV will have SideSync already embedded in it. In terms of our smartphone devices, certainly the S3, the S4, the Note 2, mm -hmm. and we'll look at expanding that to other Galaxy devices as well. Okay. 
So that's side sink.